behalf of the bodies of trustees, our beloved founder, Dr. Vishwanath Karad, the most revered and respected, all the staff and the students of the MIT Group of Institutions, MIT World Peace University, MIT ADT University, and all other constituent units of this institution. Let me welcome from my bottom of heart the most respected Honorable Padmai Bhushan, Dr. Karan Singh Ji. I also would like to welcome Dr. Raghunath Mashalkar, who is a Chairman of Advisory Council. Again, the Padma Vibhushan, who is a, a great well-wisher and the supporter of this very great institution, MIT World Peace University, almost last 37 years. Also, we have Dr. Vijay Bhatkar, who is Padma Bhushan, a Param Supercomputer person of this country who created, gave the supercomputing technology for the country. Bhatkar, sir, you can just, uh, I'm, yeah, thank you. The, for the today's program, the, the heroes of this very important program, the 2nd October, Mahatma Gandhi Jayanti Day, this fifth parliament of, world parliament of science, religion and philosophy, the most important heroes, the uh, Sri Ramji Singh Ji and uh, Sri Devdas Ji, who are going to get this very important Gandhi Peace Award. I welcome you both also, sir. All my vice chancellor, Dr. Parshuraman, Dr. Rai, all my other pro-vice chancellors sitting on the dais, the secretary of our institution, Professor Mangesh Karad, and the executive president of this MIT Art Design Technology University. All the very respected people sitting in the front row, and of course, many of them in the audience also, and last but not the least, my dear students of this very institution, and the people, the student community who shown the faith, and today, they have registered themselves for this very idea of World Parliament of Science, Religion and Philosophy, the fifth parliament, the World Parliament. So no words to express my happiness that we all know that this institution carries a great message with the inspiration of Swami Vivekananda's very thought of unification of science and spirituality. And of course, Sun Sri Naneshwar and, Nane and Sun Sri Tukaram Maharaj, and various other philosophers of this land and the world. Dr. Karad, our revered founder, who is relentlessly working on this very mission of, very unique mission of unification of science and spirituality. And this very prestigious dome, which is one of the unique monuments at the international canvas very unique thought which has, he has propagated almost last 15 years he was working on this mission my dear delegates and the students at the age of 65 Dr. Karan Singh Ji he started this very journey that I want to make some such very unique uh, dome in the world which will give a message of science and spirituality he was, which he was carrying almost when he established this very institution in 1983 not just because he's our founder or a father of this organization, but a very unique uh, institution builder who promoted this very concept of Swami Vivekananda, the science and spirituality in the 21st century in, in today's era. And worldwide, there is always a very deep thinking going on. I really don't want to share deep knowledge. In the next two days, many of the philosophers and the scientific temper people and various other people, they will share their mind. I welcome all of you also for the next two days. But just to give a little background of this institution and why this very effort of World Parliament of Science, Religion and Philosophy, it is my duty to communicate so that the theme of this very conference is also clear for each one of you sitting here in this audience. Today, I am really tempted to say that Honorable Prime Minister recently in the United Nations General Assembly, he said one very important sentence that Bharat ne yuddha nahi buddha diye hai. Main mera kartave samajhta hoon ki aaj ke Gandhi Jayanti ke din pe ek meri taraf se mujhe aise laga ki is desh ne khali buddha nahi 
बस बुद्ध के साथ गांधी भी दिए है वे इस विश्व को वर्ल्ड वाइड एनी पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वेन एवर यू गो पीपल से यस ग्रेट लैंड ऑफ बुद्धा एंड गांधी बीच अवर फाउंडर ऑलवेज प्रोपोगेट्स एंड वेरी यूनिक आई थिंक एंड आई एम ग्लैड दैट आवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर डेफिनेटली ही हैज गिवन अ ग्रेट नेम इंटरनेशनली द इंडियन डायस्पोरा एज वेल एज यू नो द अदर कंट्रीज आर ऑल्सो अप्रिशिएटिंग द एफर्ट्स ऑफ आवर आई टी इंजीनियर्स एंड वेरियस सच प्रोफेशनल्स वर्ल्ड वाइड हु आर सर्विंग एंड एंड देयर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन एट द ग्लोबल लेवल but this is a place where i really don't want to talk about india or any country but i think the very great tradition of this country or hinduism also i feel there is a, a great secularism message this land has always propagated so with this uh, i want to just say few things uh, and because of dr karan singh ji who is today he is here last almost 10 years sir i was uh, and dr karad and we were before some 15 years before he visited our institution but we were very very keen that he must come sometime for the students parliament the bharatiya chhatra sansad or mit school of government mission but nevertheless i think this was a very opportune time that after so many years of this wait i think he is such a great person we all know that i i was just walking with him and i said sir you are one of the very unique philosopher king and when he said rahul we are in a democracy i am no more a king but but my belief is that this country's tradition even raja maharaja's country there was always a democratic values promotion was always there so with that spirit sir dr karan singh ji i have a one very idea that how do we connect our royalties today there are so many royal families of our country and i see that indian culture and royalties they have a great connect and to preserve and the protect the culture of this very nation and the traditions of this nation i think we should have some day one royal conclave under the chairmanship of shri karan singh ji and some other royalties also to attract the government attention also towards this very agenda that it it can be very beautifully we can you know connect this very dot of the you know the britain is a great country today and we know the royalty and the, the culture they also protect every country has their own pride but this is a very important uh, one thought which i thought of sharing today because of dr karan singh ji's presence another thought also on this 2nd october day i want to communicate to all of you and this is a world peace dome the biggest monument in the vastness of the world in last 2 300 years i don't think that there is any such creation has occurred in the vastness of the globe where all these people who laid the foundation for humanity the scientists the philosophers the founders of all the religions i don't see i have traveled across the globe but in one such unique step i haven't seen so it is a very appropriate place to communicate with the recent article 370 agenda of jammu kashmir and in front of dr karan singh you also i want to share that we have just a few days before we said that from this world peace dome and the mit world peace university which is the only university in the vastness of the globe the professional university which talks about the life transformation can we establish the institute of peace and conflict resolution in jammu and kashmir so far we all know that jammu kashmir is known for two things one is a, the beautiful nature and another is a terrorism and we all i haven't seen kashmir in my life and recently our beloved founder said rahul so far the kashmir has given these two messages and in the days to come kashmir must give a message that we create the peace ambassadors for the world and that spirit when he shared this so dr parshuram and our vice chancellor and we all sat together and we said let us propose the institute of peace and conflict resolution so we have appealed to the honorable prime minister also and mr amit shah and various other government authorities that if they can think of some such very unique mission of institute at peace and conflict resolution in jammu kashmir and maybe in next 15 to 18 months time a very short term program where 1000 youth from jammu kashmir the valley they come to this very dome and we give 15 20 days very important program through which you know we give the message of peace and this very peace ambassadors will work in the various missions worldwide and kashmir becomes a very unique place for the world to recognize i also 
want to say to the particularly the student community that the, again the recent Prime Minister's speech there in General Assembly, peace has a various dimension. We talk about the inner peace, we talk about, you know, the, that consciousness and so many things, the, the spiritual masters and other people, but, but to create a harmony in society, we got little thread of our beloved founder and we started the MIT School of Government which is of India's only school to develop the future politicians. And of course, the Indian Students' Parliament, the Bharati Chhatra Sansad, another very platform to promote the values of good governance, democracy and leadership. Pade likhe log rajniti mein aane chahiye, swachya rajneta hame rajniti mein chahiye. Achche log aur achche yuwa rajniti mein aayenge, pade likhe log rajniti mein aayenge, to hamari rajniti saaf sutri hoogi, is baat ko hum pichle pandra saal se propagate kar raha hai, ye World Peace University ke madhyam se, aur hamare founder ki vision se. I would like to say to all the students, again reinstating the Honorable Prime Minister about the plastic or the water and the environment, these issues are very, very important. We all feel these issues are very allied people, allied society issues, but this is not really true. We all have to really understand. And we as all the decision makers in this very fifth parliament gathered, I have a message to communicate that we all really have to really seriously think on these lines. Lastly, I want to say to all the people here sitting that uh, next two, three days are very going to be very important. The fourth evening we are going to afternoon, we are going to conclude. This should not be just a ceremonial conference, my dear students and the delegates here, that the various resolutions also we are going to make in this very World Peace Dome. I expect all of you to have a complete participation, wholehearted participation in this uh, very uh, important mission. In particularly students, I want to say that we all feel that this spirituality and the peace, these are all maybe after 50, 50 saal ke baad, jab bude honge to thoda sa iske baare mein sochenge, but mein samajhta hun ki jitne bhi bade log hoke gaye, Swami Vivekanand ji se leke kitne logo ka naam liya ja sakta hai, jo young umar mein hi unka transformation hua hai, to mein sabhi students ko, mein jantta hun, aap mein se kaafi students ne Bharati Chhatra Sansad attend kiya hai, जनवरी फरवरी में 20, 21, 22, 23 जनवरी को दिल्ली में विज्ञान भवन में 10वीं एडिशन 10 साल हो गए भारतीय छात्र संसद को और दिल्ली में ये भारतीय छात्र संसद होगा मैं आपको अपील करता हूं इस मौके के ऊपर कि आप सब लोग इसमें बड़े नंबर से रजिस्टर करें और विज्ञान भवन में शायद प्रधानमंत्री भी उसमें शिरकत करेंगे बाकी काफ़ी सारे महत्वपूर्ण लोग उसमें शिरकत करेंगे मैं फिर से जितने भी हमारे यूनिवर्सिटीज़ के रिप्रेजेंटेटिव हैं और बाकी भी यूनिवर्सिटीज़ के लीडर्स को मैं कहना चाहूँगा universities and universalization, the university word itself symbolizes the universal values. But unfortunately, we some universities sometimes also, they are also promoted by some one religion or one, one, one sect and one such uh, thought process. But here is a very unique example and the model for the world which talks about all the religions. So in a true sense, I think the MIT World Peace University vision and mission, what our beloved founder is propagating, we all really have to understand and this becomes the center in the days to come. That is my confidence that many universities will get inspired with this thought process from this World Peace University and MIT World Peace Dome. Lastly, all my staff members, I request that you have taken a great effort to build up this very conference. As usual, this institution has a great legacy of organizing various important international, national level such uh, missionary events. I, I say that your commitment for next three days is very, very crucial for the beautiful engagement of all the participants in this fifth World Parliament of Science, Religion and Philosophy. I say good luck to every one of you. And once again, from my bottom of heart, I do namaskar to all the respected people sitting on the dais and every one of you. Thank you so much. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.